Here we have the people's marshmallows for dissection. Let's go over the external anatomy first. The people's marshmallows has two eyes, which are recessed into orbicular sockets. Now those are just above their beak, which in some cases tends to curve down and connect to their sternum. Scientists have not yet determined why this would be a necessary arrangement or an ad advantageous arrangement for their mouth structures. Now we can tell that this is an alpha male because in the colonial nature of people's marshmallows, they tend to flock in groups of five, with the alpha male taking the far right position and the alpha female taking the far left position. The rest of the flock then takes up the space between them. Now this opening where it would connect to the rest of the flock is called the sinister cavity. That is, it is the opening on the left. We will start our dissection with a ventral incision, starting just posterior to the beak and slicing inwards. We do not want to go too far because we don't want to cut into any of the internal organs. organs. We will then make a incision away from the center on both sides from our central incision. And then again, up right underneath the neck of our specimen. Now the people's marshmallows, when alarmed, does tend to secrete a very sticky substance, thus giving it its name. However, normally that stickiness of its defensive mechanism is counteracted by this very granular skin. Now if we carefully slice off that granular skin, we'll be able to open it up and reveal its internal anatomy. This is known as the marshmallow septum, and sometimes we need to clear it away in order to open up this anatomy. As you can see, there's a wide variety of color and texture inside the internal anatomy of a people's marshmallow. So let's clear the septum up a little bit. They do have very fragile, delicate skin, which can make dissection a difficulty. Here we will see the liver, which is made out of this white material, and just posterior to the liver, we will see the gallbladder. Now the people's marshmallows uh, respirates through its skin, actually, so we will not be seeing any internal respiratory systems. Now let's have a brief study of the nervous system of the people's marshmallows. For that, we are going to need to look on the back of the head and we will make a very careful incision behind its, between its eyes, heading backwards. Now the people's marshmallows does not have any skull, nor do they have a vertebra. Now if we look in here, we will see the complete absence of a brain. And if we continue that farther down, we will see the complete absence of any sort of nerve cord. The Peepus marshmallows lives solely to populate shelves with its colony. And that about covers the internal and external anatomy of the Peepus marshmallows. Let us review that quickly. We have this granular skin, which covers this this white septum, which can be secreted as a defense mechanism. 
Inside, we have our liver and our gallbladder, which are both made of the same white material. The peepless marshmallows does not have a brain or a nerve cord or a vertebra. So what you're saying is it's just a blob. Yes, but a very cute blob. <laughs>